Hola oh, Libra Sun, Cancer Moons, welcome to your 2025 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorder or live reading. Just click on link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715. When you see this is when you're meant to view it. It doesn't matter the time of the year. Also check out your 2024 Sun Moon readings in my playlist and see if they rang true for you or someone you know. I have changed the format this year. The first portion of this reading, I will go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination, pull the main cards for the first half of the year, and take a quick look at your 2024. 25. The second portion is in the Vimeo link below where I will have the second half of the year in addition to clarifiers and a card of advice. So Libra Sun Cancer Moons, you need to have a more positive viewpoint of yourself and don't let others' opinions of you matter so much. Additionally, people will tend to take advantage of your kindness because you're so desperately wanting to be liked. You're non-confrontational, diplomatic, and calm. Typically, you try to stay away from conflict, but if you're forced to participate, you will carefully assess the problem to come up with a fair solution. Interestingly enough, people People tend to be bring their conflict to you because you're such a good listener and advisor. In love, you often seek out mates who are capable of taking care of you. It's not that you aren't able, but your partner's abilities exceed your own in this area, so why not? Your loved one can expect to get frustrated because of your indecisiveness. Getting an answer out of you regarding where you want to go or where you want to eat can be a challenge. You do have a stance when something is important and matters, but for the smaller things, it doesn't feel like a decision needs to be made. When it comes to career, you have a huge interest in observing people and understanding their actions. You can do well in areas of politics, therapy, and marketing precisely for this reason. Typically, you get along well with your colleagues and are pleasant to be around. Any work situation that inspires others to be better people is where you accomplish the most personal growth. So, Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Libra, Sun, Cancer, Moons for the year 2025? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine can you please show me in january and february for libra sun cancer moons we have the star card in the upright which is the card of aquarius also look me up on facebook instagram tiktok like share subscribe donate refer me to a friend and support my efforts always greatly appreciated in march and april we have the seven of swords in the upright and what do we have for May and June? May and June for Libra, Sun, Cancer, Moons. We have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. All right, so it looks like in the beginning of year in January, at the beginning of the year in January, February, with the star card in the upright, you really you have really turned a corner. So I feel as though prior to, so in the year 2024, towards the end of 2024, you went through something that was pretty rough, pretty disastrous, had a really hard time. And now it's as though, you know, the, the clouds have, the clouds have um, parted. The sun is coming out, or the stars in this case, and you're really starting to see how um, strong you are, how resilient you are, and you can actually breathe this sigh of relief, like whew, it's kind of over. So because of that, and kind of looking back on what you went through, you're really starting to appreciate all the things you have around you as you're present, realize, starting to have hope and renewed faith that you can move on and actually do things um, pretty much just like washing the waters of this lake I always think of and, you know, washing away all that soot and all that dirt um, <laughs> that you had previously and starting off clean and starting off fresh. Now, in March and April, this person is going to come in. I assume they're a person, the thief card in the upright typically is for me. Um, caution. Be aware. Remember we were talking about you could be taken advantage of. This is exactly the person who could do it. Seven of Swords in the Upright being the thief is somebody who typically will steal from you, betray you in some way, uh, sneak around behind your back and do something. <clears throat> typically this person has, you know, a hidden agenda, ulterior motives, things of that nature, and they'll sneak around. They'll do what they're going to do and they will, um, they will get away with it. That's the thing with the thief. He's so sly, he typically does not get caught. So I would be, I would really have your spidey sense on during the period of March and April. I do think somebody is setting out to take advantage of you. And the reason why I'm really concerned is because in um, May and June with the Nine of Cups in reverse, this is where the narcissist, the, the true full-blown narcissist comes out. So either they're love bombing you, gaslighting you, um, or this is just a person that doesn't have to be a romantic relationship who is just really good at manipulating a situation in their favor. They usually tend to put themselves first. Um, they could care less about any 
anybody else's agenda or in, anything in that regard. We'll sideline people. Um, they only see what they want to see and usually it's about them. So, I mean, I see this really strong person coming in with malintentions um, in from what, uh, March to uh, July, uh, June. So I would really kind of, like I said, be very aware of your surroundings and who you're associating with during that period of time. So that's all I have for you at this present time. If it does resonate, consider a pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below where I will have the second part of your year. Yeah, second part of your year with clarifiers in addition to a card of advice for 2025. Um, also, 2024s are still in my playlist. See if they rang true for you. And then finally, if you could look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, refer me to a friend. Always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Libra, Sun, Cancer, Moons. I will see you in your Vimeo reading. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.